Hey guys, I'm currently five minutes late to my Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. Having a luscious beard has its cons, guys. It has nothing to do with my beard, but I'm five minutes late to my Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. I'm super late for my tournament. Seven minutes late to be exact, but it's all good. You wanna know why? Because life is amazing. Life is so great. I have breath in my lungs. My family's healthy. I'm happy. You guys are happy. Life is amazing. All glory to God. I might not make this tournament, but it's all good. I'm gonna play anyways, because even with the one round loss, I must still win the tournament. I see people playing through the window. Let's go, baby. Hands on time. So game one loss. All I need is two games, baby. Good luck, bro. So I'm not going to record this out of respect to my opponent because I have to go fast. But I'll tell you guys what happens after I won. But I'll tell you guys what happened after I win. We win game two. Thanks to Draco Slayer beatdown. Let's go. Uh, we only won because of the Telemann playmat, though. So you guys should all purchase this because it's one day only. Everyone watching this video should buy my playmat. Yes. Yeah. So the match just finished and wow, man. I actually lost the match. I lost the match. I was faced with a situation where I could shark him and win the duel. I let him go back. I let him negate the card when he was supposed to show him the best way to win. And in fact, it resulted in him winning. So I might have lost the duel, but I'm glad that I lost. Sharking has no place in Yu-Gi-Oh, especially Yu-Gi-Oh locals. I understand sharking in a tournament like a regional or a YCS, but it has no place in Yu-Gi-Oh locals. So I let my opponent take it back and he won the duel. So I'm actually very happy about it because imagine I sharked him and he didn't go to locals the next day because he was sad that he got sharked by the best player in the game. So I might have lost, but he won. So it's all good. It did inspire me to use the greatest pickup line in the history of all time. Uh, it's really ironic that you're scared of sharks because you're going to be dating him soon. What's up? That was a seamless transition. Well done. I'm Ashley. It's nice to meet you. In the heat of battle, he don't miss. No. In the heat of controversy, he don't miss. No. You're the best fan favorite. Thank you. When we're at Untouchables, we get the trauma in place there. When we're at Game Nation, we get the trauma in place here. It's actually impeccable. Thank you so much. That's, I love this trauma, bro. Something about it. It's not an actual trauma like rap. It's like a trauma with the rice and stuff. I don't know. Something about it. It's just delicious. I love it. Oh my god, guys, it's not every day there's a celebrity at Game Nation, but I'm actually so shy to go up to. Oh my god, hey, bro, hey. Hey, I'm so. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to even breathe the same air as you, bro. No worries, child. <laughs> thank you, Father. Yo, Victor, do you want to have a push up contest? No. Why? You're going to win. You're going to win. I'm going to use one hand. You're still going to win. Wow. Honestly, you know, I don't give myself that much credit, bro. <laughs> if it isn't the person that beat me, you know what you did. You beat the pen god himself. As everyone knows, that if you beat the best, you are the best. No, you are now the best. You took my title from me. You whooped my ass. You, you OTK'd me. They don't know. Your deck was amazing. You guys want to know what deck he played? You guys will have to watch the rest of the video to figure out because his deck is special. It's the best rogue deck in the game, right? Is it ten thousand damage at once? That's my that's my hint to what he's playing. You can do ten thousand damage at once. Yo, guys, look! Uh, this is Coder's cousin right here. Yo, Tristan, Tristan, you're the worst judge in Konami. I'm kidding. I love you, bro. You're the best. Serious question: Over or under ten thousand calories? So, guys, the camera's going on right now, not for you guys, but just so I could stare at my beard. Holy fuck! What a fucking fresh lineup! Holy shit! Okay. Also at the duel. Alright guys, if I have the freshest beard in Yu-Gi-Oh! history, smash the subscribe button. Ryan Man! You guys know what happened the last time me and Ryan dueled? No? I beat him so bad he changed decks. Your beard's insane! Your beard's fucking insane! Ryan, if you pull an ulti right now, if you pull an ulti right now, I will scoop and go to the bar. That's not an ulti. Let's go! Oh, I'm good, all right. Yu-Gi-Oh! We are ready to go. Over here, boys, we got Sword Soul against none other than Pendulum. I see a Shuna and Grave, so I'm instantly going to Magnemut. See you later. I'm going to get that one out of there. My opponent is now going to go into Yazi to pop my Magnemut, so I actually kind of helped him by putting a card in the field to get Yazi with, thanks to his Distrudo from his hand. But that's all good. I'm going to let him go off here because... I got another bestial. And on top of another bestial, I got a full hand of Draco Slayers. And there's no answer that Swords is going to have to the absolute incredibleness 
that is Draco Slayer insert deck. Let's go. So he is going to put up some a good respectable amount of interruptions here. He's going to have the Draco Berserker. He's going to have the Shisha. I'm going to search auto revolution at the end phase. And this is a huge tip here. This is why we're playing Magnum up, boys. We're playing Magnum up to search auto revolution dragon at the end phase. And thanks to Lubelion, we're also going to be able to do a cool play here of Druid Worm. I I, he Druid Worm is my Druid Worm, but I tribute some of my own Druid Worm. The idea behind this is so I could Lubelion ASAP, so I could get rid of his interruption. I got rid of Shishao. He's going to Shishao my Lubelion. Little does he know, I already hard drew my Branded Beast. Now, if you guys want to see the deck list, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button right now and smash the like button. If three tier limit play mats are purchased, which will be available for 24 hours, this is a limited time play mat. If three playmats are purchased, so we've already released this playmat, but if three playmats are purchased today of this, I will release the deck profile. So let's do it. Uh, here, I'm going to put up our CED. I'm going to do a cool play here because I know how his deck is. I know how Sword Soul plays. So what I'm going to do is he's actually going to ash my Ignis, my Luster. This is huge because my scales are locked. So he ashes my Luster, which means that my Ignis cannot leave the field and I cannot search beyond the Pendulum to get a low scale. So I'm completely locked to the Pendulum summoning this turn. as a massive ash. Uh, if you guys want to know the choke point of Draco Slayers, it's if you see Ignis uh, about to get popped by Luster or Maiden, you ash that shit right away. So I kill his field and unseal Branded Beast Druid Worm. This is going to be triple interruption against his board. And I also have the opportunity to go for Sloth at any time I want. Uh, so despite him having desires here, this it does seem back and forth. However, it's not. It's only back and forth for the Pendulum player because that's the way the Pendulum swings. We let them believe that they have a chance, but they really don't. Because we're going to Branded Beast here, get rid of the Tuners. And in the second he summons Long Yuan, which is right now, I seal it. If I was him, I would have entered the battle phase to get rid of the seal first. But it still would have resulted in absolute destruction for him. And now there's just nothing he's going to be able to do. So uh, with him, he's, there's nothing he can do. Think about this. He's going to go for he, he's going to go for a dark play. He's going to set up Wallow. He plays double six because he's playing uh, Bistules himself. He gets a follow-up. But this just ain't going to do anything. I mean, what's, once my scale is cleared, this is going to clear the way for absolute victory for the greatest deck of all time. And that is Draco Slayers. Uh, so here it is. We're gonna. There's nothing he can do here. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go through the motions. I'm going to try and get him to bait his wallow. I'm going to try and get him to bait his own bestials because I know he has bestials as well. I'm going to trigger my Majesty Maid in here to get a, a value. I'm going to get my CED, and now my idea I could enter the battle phase with my CED to clear his cards. This will result in more interruption. That's what I'm going to do. You don't got to go for game. You don't got to go for game. I'm play he's playing Sword Soul. I'm going to eventually dwell on him. Like, you don't have to go for game at any moment against any deck. All you have to do go for is control. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to Pendulum Summon. Uh, I'm going to Pendulum these two. I could have done a play where I Pendulum the Magnum up before I got rid of my Ignis. I guess I could have been a play to trigger Beyond the Pendulum pretty early to pop two. I don't really need to. I want to dwell there first before I pop. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up a Dweller. Because I don't want Dark or Sword in here to get value. And then at this point, I uh, summon out CED. I'm going to enter Bottle Phase. I want to kill the Wallow. Because if I kill the Wallow, he, I have Druid Worm in my hand, which I've not activated yet. I, he only stopped my Magnemot, so he will not be able to stop my Druid Worm. So my Druid Worm hitting the field will then be able to get summoned out with Lubelion, sending his Druid Worm, and since he's under Dweller, none of this will trigger. So his Dark won't be able to trigger, then I'm going to destroy, his Druid Worm won't trigger because of Dweller, then I go into Hope Harbinger and Zeus and Branded Beast. Uh, so I have Magnemot in hand, and there's no, no, nothing you can do to that. So if you guys noticed there, I went for a control. I did not go for game. I was at 150 life points, actually. I didn't even use Beyond the Pendulum effect. I was at 150 life points uh, after I used uh, the effect of CED. So you don't have to, like, just because he has a turn doesn't mean you're going to lose. All you're going to do is set up uh, a lot of interruptions. So just focus on control, boys. This is a, a big thing I want to say there. So I'm going to go for Shifter off the bat. Uh, what, right the second he reveals Emergence, I go Shifter. This means that... He's not going to properly be able to activate his uh, Sword Soul, Mo his Sword Soul Taie at all. Moye is going to be rough. Can't trigger Moye draw. He's going to have a shit board. And then he ends up Baron Shishao hand trap. So that's not going to be enough here. And because Shishao has nothing to banish, there's nothing he can do. Sadly though, I did open a fuck ton of hand traps. So uh, just the one Baron alone is going to like is is rough. I hope I sided a little too many too much to be honest. So but that's fine. I'm going to go into Maiden here and Ignis. I'm trying to get him to. Use interruptions ASAP. Even if I just set up a Baguska, I'll have to do a setup of Baguska 
And setting up a Baguska makes it so I have one or two turns because Sorcerer gets absolutely destroyed to Baguska. So here, I'm just going to go through the, each of their effects, especially the Maiden. I'm going to use Dynamite to special another Maiden. And I'm literally just going to go Baguska. I have a Joker in my hand, but if I summon Joker, it's going to get hit with Baron really quickly. So what I do is I set one of my Veilers that I have in my hand and I pass my turn. So uh, next, he's going to pass his turn as well. There's nothing he can do under Baguska. So now I'm going to go into Beyond the Pendulum. I'm going to normal Joker or no effect, make Beyond the Pendulum. He Veilers it or Ashes it. Uh, which Beyond the Pendulum uh, could use this effect over Baguska, obviously. And then I just set one. It's an Imperm. I've uh, Imperm right now and Sky Iris. So he searches for Emergence. Uh, your Emergence is such a blackout, not good for us. But that's fine. I draw into another Impermanence. It's double Impermanence. Now I'm like, bro, come on. Fucking too many hand traps right now. And uh, I'm trying to think how to clear through this. He act I use Luster, but he Blackout. I Imperm his Chenging to get that off the field. Because if I let him keep the Chenging, I'm going to have all my stuff banished. Not going to be good for me. And then at, th at this point, what I do is I need to get rid of this Baron. And I'm in, I'm in a rough situation right now. I just need to not die, really. I could wait one turn. I have a Sky Iris. I could CED kill his card. But then right when I link off my Beyond the Pendulum for the Dark, he Druid Worms. I'm like, fuck, man. I'm actually so unlucky. Because if I could just kill his Baron, I would win the follow-up with Beyond the Pendulum next turn. So I end up losing this duel. Now, this is a very down, very bad situation. Because I do not play God Guy Cowboy at all. And I do not play any burn card. And right now, as we speak, there's literally like three minutes left. Now, if I was a total dick, uh, I could have like... Look how fast I was. I sided so fast, bro. Uh, and I'm playing my turn so incredibly fast. And... If I could have been a dick, I could have done more stuff in my combo. I could have. But I was even a little greedy thinking if I end on Baguska, he's just going to have no play and pass his turn. I did not think about Long Yuan. I could have been a dick and just wait longer and have like have it be a draw. But I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give him a turn. I'm going to give him a turn to let me Long Yuan. And I'm so stupid. I should have Dweller. Because if I Dwellered here, uh, he won't be able to do damage because I have a lot of interruptions. Brandon B set. Uh, or Imperm set. I have like a Ash in hand or some shit. Or not Ash. I have Valor in hand. Imperm. Like, man. It was... Or it's not Valor. I think it's on the Bishy or something. But I'm losing to Baron. Uh, not Baron. To long one burn. So I should have just Dweller him. That, that was a mistake, dude. Uh, this is this is an issue with Draco Slayers. We do lose the time. It might be good to play Cowboy moving forward. But it's local. So who gives a shit? Yo, everyone. I'd like to make an announcement. O2 drop round two. I mean, O2. Did I go play one more round to go through the mystical record of 03? Don't think that's possible. It'll only be possible if I face Tristan. The free. Actually, no, fuck. I was trying to make fun of like beating you, but I made fun of myself. So, like, that was a fail. Yo, Josh, bar, let's go. Fuck One Piece. I told him bar in One Piece. He's like One Piece. Let's go take one shot after the other. All right, guys. It looks like no one wants to go to the bar with me. So I'm just going to be the loser that goes alone. Thanks, guys. Much appreciated. Sosa! Let's go bar. To the bar across the street. Jack Astor's. Yeah. Oh, shit. Let's go. Why? Who cares? The store could run itself. Yo, can you run the store for a bit? Sure. Are you sure? Don't worry, you got Sosa. That's Do you know about Yu-Gi-Oh prices? That's the only thing. Yeah. See, he knows. He knows Yu-Gi-Oh prices. We're good. We're going to the bar. It's good. It's easy. Corner's twin. Are you winning? No, I, mean, I am winning now, I guess. Yeah, he's going to beat you. Yo, you can't just show the victories, bro. I'm going to clap everyone up typically. But if you lose a few, you lose a few. So now, all oh, now it snows in my face. Welcome to Canada, guys, where it's fucking snowing every day now. It's not snowing. It's just the pen god's aura. After quite literally the worst performance in Yu-Gi-Oh! history, I've decided that I'm going to hang up the boots for the day. And I'm going to go back to Yu-Gi-Oh! tomorrow. For today though, it's Friday then, it's Friday then.